Good morning everyone. Well, today we're off to Malacca. Isn't that a word in Greek that means something else? I think so. And of course, uh, we're going to catch a bus. So here we are in the KKK lines. It's the white supremacist bus lines. Let's go. So here we are on the bus. Have a look at this bus. I was expecting a crappy one, but have a look at this seat. It goes off right back. So now we're leaving Singapore, crossing the bridge, and over there is Malaysia. Welcome to Malaysia, the home of palm oil and corruption. Some beautiful countryside here. Nice mountain ranges. Got the bus snacks, might as well eat them. Cheese balls. It's just palm trees, palm trees, palm trees. They just go on for hundreds and hundreds of kilometers, non-stop. It's kind of pretty. There's lots of open spaces here too. Lots of empty land. Here we are in beautiful Malacca. Well, sort of beautiful. That's where we're staying, the Hatton Hotel. Well, we're banging for a feed, so let's go find something to eat. There's the Wongkok restaurant. I wonder where the right cock restaurant is. Oh, we got McDonald's, we got KFC, we got Pizza Hut, we got Kenny Rogers, we got Subway. So much to choose from. All right, so we found something to eat. Bernice has got some beef pho, or pho, pho. as we call it. And I got some nasi goreng with some chicken satay minus the satay sauce. Where's the satay sauce? I'll have to use this chili sauce. Yum. Looks pretty good. Good size servings, that's uh, $7 each for that, including the drink. Do we get cake with the drink as well? This? No cake though. That was an extra $2. Which I'm too cheap to spend. God, I hate being cheap. Anyway, let's dive on in. Nazi goreng, yummy yum. Oh, spicy. Malaysia. Ooh, grilled butter chicken. Yum. Life is better with butter. I hear you, bro. High five. See that? That's 1,500 ringgits a month, which is $500 a month. $125 a week for six day weeks. So think yourself lucky next time you're winching about how much you're not making because these people make 20 bucks a day. There you go, vacancy, full time, 10 till 10, so 12 hours a day, 50 ringgits a day plus commission. So 50 ringgits, that's like 17, 18 dollars a day plus commission. Oh. Anyway, look at this hair, I'm so sick of it. I saw a hairdresser upstairs, a four dollar hairdresser, so I'm gonna go and get a haircut. Come on, let's do this. Right, change of plans, we were able to book in, so here we go, room 1609. Got a nice thing here. That bed is massive. Nice size shower and toilet. I think there's a toilet. Ah, oh, there it is, yep. Big queen, king size bed. And here's our view. Got a view of the pool. And of Malacca. Ah, there's the ocean over there. There you go. God, this hair is terrible. 
I'm gonna go downstairs and get a cut. All right, well, I just got my $4 haircut. Mate, it was the roughest haircut I've ever had. It was really grinding that, that uh, tr those clippers in. Oh, mate. And somehow I've ended up with like a blue spot on the back of my head. And, um, well, just a rash and everything from it. But yeah, four bucks. I just pointed at the picture and asked for that one. And from the other people in front of me, they all got this haircut. So it's, he, I think he can only do one haircut. He was from Algeria or something, he said, this guy. And he was here on contract, so <laughs> mate, they must have a pretty horrible wage in Algeria if he has to come here to earn this wage. So anyway, that's a four buck haircut. Top effort. Now after a haircut, I always like to wash the hair off, so I might just whip on down to the pool for a swim. All right, I've just been for the swim and uh, look at that haircut, mate. Four bucks, can't believe it. Now we're going to Jonker Street, it's a market, and uh, we're gonna go and suss it out. Yep. Gotta go through this car park. Pretty impressive car park too, just quietly. I am being sarcastic. Ooh, Pizza Hut and KSC. What more do you want? Kenny Rogers. Kenny Rogers. What's the ball? All aboard. Oh, no cameras. Got a plane over here. Got a truck. Wow. Crazy. Okay, so where are these markets? Hmm. Beautiful canal down here. All right, well, here we are, the Junker Walk. Another crazy machine. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, what's that? Now, what is this place? Donka Street. What's it for? What's it represent? Uh, no, it's just a street. Oh, it's just a street? So it was markets or something interesting. There's a lot of markets, but I'm not sure where the markets are. I need to find them. Well, you can tell it's touristy because there's white folk here. But I can't see anything worth seeing. Maybe some. Rolls. Everything's shut. Right, well, that was drunk a walk. Great time. Great time. How about we find somewhere that sells beer? Yeah, now we're talking. Now, when you come to Malacca, you've got to come to the Restaurant Famosa Chicken Rice Ball Shop, which is where we're coming for dinner tonight to try the chicken rice balls. World famous. This place is world renowned for their chicken balls. <laughs> chicken so, rice balls. Chicken rice balls. So, um, we're going to come here and try some. Yummy! Now, if you don't want chicken rice balls, you can always just get this beautiful looking chicken. Sure, it's had its legs snapped and its neck broken, but hey, yummo. Right, well, here we go. We've got some chicken. Roasted chicken. Roasted chicken here. Here's the chicken rice balls. And I got some pork roast belly, pork. I think. No, roasted pork. Roasted pork. And a beer. You beauty. Now, this is an Islamic country, so uh, to see some beer here and pork is <laughs> pretty good. And this is my first beer of the whole trip, so I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, well, let's try a bowl. Oh, it's cold. Let's eat it with the chicken. Oh, well. I'll eat it with some pork. Mm. 
Tastes like chicken rice. Oh, look, they gave me a coffee cup to drink my beer in. Oh, isn't that sweet? Oh, yeah. Cheers, everyone. Ah. All right, well, that was a pretty good feed. So, that cost 35 ringgits for the pork, chicken, beer, and tea, and rice balls, which is about 12. $11.50, 12 bucks. So that's alright. So, uh, where are we going now? To the supermarket. Supermarket, see if we can find one. Well, happy Mardi Gras, everyone. Now, Bernice wants this here. Chandel! And I can smell the durian from here. There's a big one right there. <laughs> oh, yuck. Are you gonna go and get one? No. Good. Let's go to McDonald's and get an ice cream. <laughs> Oh mate, we come and grab some ice creams. Yay! Which one do you want? Mmm. Just what I need. Well, it looks like the expensive butters here in Malaysia too. What's that? That's about three bucks. Two dollars fifty or sixty for this. The cheese. Look at this. That's like three dollars something just for cheese. Three dollars fifty for bigger slices. Gotta be kidding me. These are people that make 20 bucks a day. $3.99 for 10 eggs. That's about a dollar thirty for 10 eggs. That's a good indication of prices for you. Okay, we're gonna find the chocolate aisle. Ooh. Ooh, Tim Tams. Dollar ten a packet. Vanilla flavoured. Ooh, interesting. Peanut crackers. Hey! Oh, good. This is my sort of section. Non halal. Let's see what's in here. We got all the good stuff. We got beers. We got ham. Pork. Wines. The non halal teriyaki marinade. Oh, what more do you want? I like how it's sectioned off like it's like the X rated room. Alrighty, that was quite a busy day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.